and this is Josh Blake. We're from the Infrastrat Advanced Technology Group. We're going to be showing you an advanced, oh, I'm sorry, can we please have the lights dim so we can get our demo set up? Today we're going to be showing an advanced collaboration scenario uh, based on an earthquake response. Uh, this is using our Converge 360 platform, which we developed based on requirements from one of our customers. This platform allows us to integrate multiple devices and multiple types of interaction uh, into one application using devices such as Microsoft Slate uh, for Windows 7, uh, Microsoft Surface, and Connect for Windows. Uh, in this scenario today, we're going to be showing uh, a story going from uh, an earthquake response uh, in Virginia, uh, where we're going to be using Microsoft Surface to assign uh, medical emergencies to hospitals, and going from there to an immersive video teleconference between that response team and USGS. Uh, to a hospital where one of the earthquake victims is being treated, and finally to a collaboration between uh, the surgeon in a hospital in Virginia and the surgeon in Maryland. Um, so uh, the first part of the scenario, we're going to move over to our Microsoft Surface. And so Josh, uh, representing the uh, lead for the team that's responding to the earthquake. Can you tell me a little bit about the technology here and how it's being used? Sure. So we're in a mobile command center at the location of the earthquake and we have a small group of us collaborating around a Samsung SCR40 from Microsoft Surface. And we're using Bing Maps to display information in the region including hospitals as well as incidents. And I can see that this incident is a head trauma and so I'm going to just drag that over to one of these hospitals and that will route that incident to that hospital. They know exactly where they need to go in this disaster simulation. And as I send several of these incidents to a hospital, you can see that the indicator has changed as the emergency room capacity has decreased. So at that point I know I need to start sending incidents to other hospitals in the region. Great. Thanks, Josh. So what we've seen here is using uh, the Microsoft Surface, uh, it gives us the capability to have a very large display where we're seeing the overall, the big picture of what's going on with the earthquake, but to also using the interactive technology to be able to very quickly and efficiently wrap those patients to the proper hospital. Great. So for the next part of the story, uh, that team on the ground that Josh is leading that's coordinating the emergency response uh, effort they need more information, uh, and they need to know where that earthquake had the greatest impact. Um, so for that, they want to bring in some experts. They want to collaborate with someone from USGS. So for that, we're moving over to uh, our Windows 7 PCs with Microsoft Connect for Windows. Uh, and Josh, can you tell me a little bit about uh, how we're using Connect um, for this scenario? And also, just as a note, our screens have now changed between the surface to representing Josh's PC on this side and my PC on this side. So you're seeing the same application right now, different instances, but you're going to see how that's going to give a different experience in just a second. So in that same mobile command center, we have a large projector display, and I'm using uh, Microsoft Connect to interact with the display. And as I reach towards the display, you can see the hand icon, and that represents where I'm interacting with the large uh, screen. And so I want to kick off an immersive teleconference with USGS to hopefully give a bigger picture of what's going on in the region. Great. Thanks, Josh. So I'm the representative from USGS, and now you see that uh, I'm immersed in Josh's screen in the display. Uh, we're using Connect for this, uh, uh, green screen technology without a green screen. Um, and we're, I'm, we're also able to have an eye-to-eye -eye conversation. Um, I'm also holding a Windows 7 slate, and the slate gives me the ability to uh, manipulate the application, and we're seamlessly synchronizing this slate and the other applications that are uh, involved in this collaboration. Uh, it'll also give me real-time alerts on any type of new data that my team uh, may uh, have built for the earthquake scenario. So Josh, as the representative from USGS, let me show you where the epicenter was so I can point to the epicenter. I'm pointing to it on my screen and I see the hand icon on my screen point to the epicenter. And if you notice, um, he's seeing exactly where my hand is, is pointing. And so Josh, the 
bulk, we're seeing that the bulk of the earthquake impact was a little bit north of the epicenter right in here. Oh, by the way, I just got an alert on my slate that says we've got a new data overlay that may help your team out. Let me go ahead and get that to you. Thanks, Josh. That's a huge help. Talk to you later. Great. Thank you. So what you've seen here is uh, we use the Connect technology to create a very natural collaboration between two people remotely. Um, it's more of a face-to-face -face experience than your typical video teleconference where you're sharing an application. I'm literally immersed in that map and when I'm pointing to things on the map. Uh, Josh can see exactly where I'm pointing to. Without that disconnect that typically happens when you've just got a headshot of the person, you're seeing the application with a cursor, etc. Um, also, you're seeing synchronization between multiple instances. As I'm moving things on my slate, it's uh, moving the map on Josh's uh, instance also, and I'm able to direct him exactly to the place in the map that I want him to, to focus on. Great, so for the next part of the story, we're going to move from the Emergency Response Center to the hospital where that head trauma victim from the first part of her story is being treated. Um, this operating room is in a hospital in Virginia. Josh is going to be the surgeon uh, in that hospital, in the operating room. I'm going to represent a surgeon in a hospital in Maryland, and we're going to be remotely uh, collaborating uh, with each other. So let me go ahead and we're going to switch to our surgery room scenario. And Josh, tell me how a little bit about the Connect technology and how it could be used by a surgeon. So now I'm a surgeon and I've scrubbed in, I have my gloves on, I'm in my operating theater, and we also have a display in here with a Connect, and I can use this display to pull up medical images for uh, this patient without uh, breaking the sterile field. I see something interesting on this image, and I want to uh, do a immersive teleconference with my friend, Dr. Josh, in the hospital ground. So I'll initiate that call with him. And uh, Josh, you know, what do you think about uh, this area here? What should we do? Well, you know, I, I see some concern there. Let me go ahead and use my Windows 7 slate to ink on that area. So let me ink it up. So as I'm inking on the slate, Josh is seeing in real time exactly what I'm inking on his instance of this. Um, so obviously the slate is the ideal uh, tool for doing that type of inking. I can either use touch or I can use a stylus to do that. Um, and because it's synchronized with these other devices, it's a seamless experience. Great. Josh, I hope this, this helped you out. I think I'll make it. Great. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what we've seen here is um, we, we've seen uh, a lot of different devices. Uh, a Microsoft Surface for the first part of our story, that team on the ground was able to collaborate and efficiently route those patients to the right place, to the right hospitals. Uh, we saw Connect being used for these immersive conferences where um, we need information and we need, it would be great if we were face to face but we're remote uh, and we're able to have a more natural conversation that we would have with a, with a typical video conference scenario. Um, we also saw uh, Slate being used for things like inking and things like map navigation. It works great for that. The ability to use a stylus, the ability to use touch, it's the ideal tool for that. But the key to all this is, this was an application built on our Converse 360 platform on Windows 7, and it's a, it provides a seamless experience to the user. There's no disconnect between one app and the other, um, and you know, it's, it becomes a true collaborative experience. Great. Thank you so much. I want to say a, a special thank you to Dr. Josh and Dr. Josh for <laughs> giving us a, a good example of using multiple technologies, not for the sake of technology, but actually to talk about how they're useful to meet a purpose, for efficiency, uh, and, and for actually getting business done in a, more, in a more precise manner. So this is a good example. I, I heard one um, press, uh, an individual yesterday, say, you know what, Connect is no longer a toy. And I think we're actually showing the fact that there are real-world examples of how to use things like Connect for Windows to build out real examples of what we're, what we're talking about here. So I want to thank, again, our guys from InfoStrat here. Uh, I think they did a great job. This was a great demo. I think that it kind of showcases this.